Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Uh, look at the wind tussling Link's hair, especially with this hairdo. Oh my. Hoo! Hoo! Listen, we may be an adventurer out in an open world, but we're a hot adventurer out in a beautiful open world. Uh, welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is episode 44. In the last episode, we explored a lot of Akala, and by a lot, I mean very little of Akala. Uh, we explored some of Shadow's Pass. Uh, over here. Shadow Pass. Uh, we jumped over these little islands right here. We ignored completely the Torrin Wetlands. That's not entirely true. We... No, no, no. We did ignore them. Over here, there was a, uh... A Bacoblin Fort. Uh, we're headed towards, I think, Hudson here on Lake Akala uh, in the middle of this uh, little, whatchamacallit, lake. <laughs> That's, the word is lake, Ryan. Uh, but first, we found a shrine. So, let's do the shrine. The Da Hesho Shrine. Let's see what this has to offer. And see if we can't figure it out. I'll be honest with you. I'm speed running shrine. Uh, speed running. I'm speed running shrines right now, uh, because uh, I would really like to get a full stamina bar. I don't know why. I know why. It's because I'm obsessed with stamina in this game. Uh, but I really want to see what happens when I get a full stamina bar. You who sets foot in this shrine. This is a combat one. Yeah. Okay. All right. My first episode of the day. I gotta warmed up. It's just a minor test of strength. It'll be fine. I don't have a weapon uh, equipped, so that'll... Maybe we do that first. Maybe let's uh, equip a weapon. We'll use this terrible spiked moblin spear. Uh, we have shrines that can break. Uh, uh, pillars that can break. <clears throat> Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on, come on. Uh, uh, okay, so this is a Guardian Scout 2. I really wish we still had our our good shield. Because I'm pretty sure that last shield that we broke said that you could use it to block the... Uh... Oh, I crouched. That was funny. You can't hit me if I'm, if I'm down low. Said we could uh, block the lasers of guardian scouts, I think. Try it, try it, try it. Come here, buddy. Yep, this is my crappy weapon, and I'm still destroying you. Oh no, okay, run. Oh! That looked like it was coming straight for me. Hit him, hit him hard. Okay, is this the, uh, is this that move? Yes. You know what I also want to try? Oh yeah, baby. That's right. And then also, let's try this one. Uh, 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 there's a button. Oh, I whipped. Yeah. No, I thought I was so fancy. I thought I was so fancy. Ah, okay, okay. No panics, no panics. We're fine. We have two health. Oh, I thought I was being... Oh, I was about to... I was about to... Stunt on this fool. Okay, we need a couple of those. I feel like the volume is really low. Is that my headphones? That might be my headphones? I can't tell. Let me just double check. For some reason, the volume seems a little low on recording. Nope, that's plenty loud. Okay, good. Just my headphones in. Okay. You think I can do it again? I think we can. Ow. We can at least do this for sure. And then do this. No! Oh, I whiffed again. <laughs> okay. All right. It doesn't work. Not like that anyways. What are you doing? What are you doing now? 
Yep, okay. Try using this, I guess. They're below a third, like a third of their health. So I think this is like their third phase. Oh! Okay, I'll be honest. I panicked. That's on me. That's on me. I panicked. I wasn't paying attention. You gotta jump. It's scientifically proven that you absolutely must jump. Wait. Wait, what just happened? What what just happened? I don't even know how I died. What did I do? Huh. Okay. I honestly don't know how I died there. Maybe uh Maybe the shield was I don't think I pulled out my shield. I could not tell you. It's okay. We have this fight in the bag. We're just kind of experimenting a little bit. No big deal. As long as we focus up, this fight is not bad. Let's use a weapon that is not nine damage. How about that? Let's use something that does a little bit more damage. Like this. Ow, you little shit. Get behind you. Nope. Hey! Okay, we have this fight in the bag, he says. We have this fight in the bag. I should have jumped backwards there. I definitely should have jumped backwards. <laughs> uh, it's okay, we're warming up. Just a small little warm up. And also, maybe we should use a different... That weapon was a little slow. I can't remember if you can use a shield while you use that uh, that weapon too. Is it too big? I think it's maybe too big. Nope. Yeah, it's too big. Too big. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, let's use this. Okay. Okay. All right. We're doing a dance. We're do it's a it's a dance. You and I. I'm doing tons of damage. Why don't you take one of those to the face? Oh, never mind. That like unstunned you. Let's toss a bomb in there. Oh no. That other bomb is just gonna float for a while there. Okay, the shield does fine there. Okay, it shoots three times, so we need to go get closer. As soon as it shoots once, we'll run. Ah, that still hit me. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't want to use any of my food that gives me extra health here. But I, I just wanted to be good without actually putting in effort at getting good. My wife, uh, Meg, who you guys have seen play Breath of the Wild, uh, often says that. She's like, I wanted to win, but I didn't want to have to put forth any effort to get better. <laughs> like, if we're ever playing, like, a uh, a game together, and it's a game that I've spent more time on. She's like, "Listen, I want to be as good as you, but I don't as good as you, but I don't want to spend any any time practicing." No. Ah! Okay. All right. That was a good jump. That was a good jump. Also, the amount of times that we're playing a game where I'm better is few and far between. I I thought it. Okay. All right. That's on me. This is a learning, this is a learning moment. Minor test of strength. I'm coming in with overconfidence. This is a learning moment. We must prepare. As, as the game Darkest Dungeon would say, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. 
We must prepare. Let's take extra health. Let's put our items on. It's working fine. Put a better shield on. I think the problem is that I'm not shielding, not the fact that I have a bad shield on. We know the three phases. We know how this goes. It's not that tough. I think if I time that better. I'm getting, I'm panicking a little bit. Do one. Okay. Now you should try and rush at me. Yep. Now we're not going to unstun you until we do this. Okay. Now you should do the thingy that I don't know why I do this every time. Oh no, that's not the right move. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Did you do an extra one? No, I got you. Okay. Woo! I thought there was a there was a fourth explosion timed perfectly, and I was like, oh no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I was like, you usually only shoot three lasers. Not bad at all. Here's the question. Dang it. I was really hoping for an ancient core. Because I believe, and I might be incorrect here, I believe we are one ancient core away from upgrading stasis. And I can't remember if I know what that does. I mean... An extremely rare find? A researcher would probably know what to do, how to use this. Okay. Giant energy crystal. That's very exciting. That's a very exciting piece of loot. I didn't know that those existed. A giant one. All right. And all it took was a couple lessons in humility about my combat skills. Dun, 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 dun. I guess we could travel somewhere and get more stamina, but at this point, I'm so excited to see Hudson slash this lake that I just kind of am going to uh, probably book it right for uh, the lake rather than, than go home and find a, a goddess. Uh, statue or whatever. If that makes sense. Oh. Oh, that's a fairy, 100%. Huh. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. That's gotta be a fairy like the one in uh, Kakariko? Outside of... Outside of Kakariko? Uh... What do we have here? We got three trees standing in a line. This lake is so dramatic looking. Pieces of rock there. Tell me that doesn't look like a Pokemon, a Pokemon NPC's house right there. Just on this island with a little path running towards it. Okay. Uh, well, I think we should try and go around. Oh, no. No, listen, leave me alone. I'm, I'm a friend. Give me out. I'll do this. Get away from you. Grab a herb. An herb. Uh, run over here to these apple trees. Kill a bird with my bomb. Okay, but I am going to take all these apples. 
Oh yeah, we're rich. Oh. We're getting better with the bomb. I feel like I can actually explode it in midair and mostly know where things are going. <laughs> Which is not how it always worked. Uh, okay. Go for the fairy? Ooh, there's a, uh, that looks like one of the razor, razor mushrooms too. Or do I go up here? I don't know. It took me a while to unlock the fairy, uh, in outside of uh, Kakariko, so maybe I won't be. Well, maybe I won't have access to this fairy right away. Maybe I'll have to do something to unlock it. And or maybe not. Maybe I'll just be able to do it right away. So I should just go there. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. Maybe 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 I should just go. Oh, that's rolling down there. Okay. Sapphire, good stuff. Good stuff. I suppose I should be picking up, uh, if I'm knocking trees over, I should probably be like turning them into wood, right? There's no downside to having the wood. Branches take up weapon inventory space, but so far I haven't seen any sign that there's a, uh, oh, you see what I see? I haven't seen any signs that there's a, uh, inventory space for. <gasps> Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be a good day. I can tell already. It's going to be a good day. I got a restless cricket in my pocket. I got five spirit orbs jingling in my pocket, too. I got whatever this is. What is this? Is that more armor amp? Oh, my God. There's so many resources here. Rock salt is, fi is falling from the sky. Armor amp. Armor ant. Rock salt. Amber. More rock salt. Oh my lord. Man, I know it might not be the most interesting thing in the world, but I could run around mining in this game for 400 hours. I think... Once, we're, once I'm done with this blind playthrough, I might do a mining only playthrough where I just run around and I role play, like in my own in my own free time, <laughs> where I just run around and I role play a little mining boy who just really wants to. Uh oh, I fell on the. Who just really wants to clear, clear fi find pretty rocks, you know? Just wants to find some pretty rocks. All right, let's go for this fountain. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. What's going on? How did we unlock? Uh oh. Uh oh. What? I hit the wrong button. How did we unlock that last fountain? I don't remember. That's a rhetorical question, by the way, just as a heads up. I think Karen, I don't actually have a photo for. That didn't work. That one did. I take a photo of this. Big old confusing uh, 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 fairy thing. Also, fairies around here. And good Lord knows as often as I've been dying recently, we got to get me some fairies. I think I paid money to get this fairy. The first fairy. I think that's what I did. We're stalking the fairy. We're going to trap them and put them in my pocket where they will be held as hostage to sacrifice to the death god of this world so that when I next die, I can say, no, listen, Grim Reaper. Oh, they make a beautiful sound. Listen, Grim Reaper, I know you want my soul. Take the fairy instead. They make a beautiful tinkling sound. Can you come a little bit lower so that I can grab you, please? I guess I could also stand up, but I just feel like... Not enough. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. 
Alright, I'm, I'm doing my best to be patient. Very patient. Definitely another one over there. I swear, is this one going to come down to, to Link's height? Link is a short king. You're going, you're going, you're going very much. There it is. There you go. You're going out of the view of the camera. I think I could also jump, but I'm, I'm, I'm certain that would scare it off. There it is. I'm certain that would scare it off, so I don't want to do that. Okay, we got at least one more. Over in that corner. Be patient. That's more armor ant. Go slow. Probably going a little bit too slow, but I just want to be safe. I like the fairies. I want to catch them. <gasps> we should take a photo of one. Duh. That didn't work. Obviously, we should take a photo of one. And then we should crouch again, because for some reason, pulling out your camera makes you uncrouch. Maybe it's like deep in Link's pocket and to, to get it out. Oh, that was the wrong button. Shit, no, it went away, no. All right, well, RIP to that one. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, Endura carrots. Uh, maybe the, maybe the camera's just lodged deep inside of Link's pocket. All right. Knock, knock. Hello. Boy. Sweet boy. Please listen to my story. I am the great fairy Mija. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. My power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now. I beg your help. I need rupees. Five hundred of them. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Uh, order bees, please. Quickly. All right. Rude. Capitalism strikes again. Pour one out for my wallet. Thank you. You are too kind. Oh. All right, let's see what you look like. What kind of fairy are you? Oh, oh. oh, Lord. Okay. Lots of purple. Pearlescent? Type of... Opalescent? Pearl? pearl? Opalescent? That's the word. Opalescent? Hmm. Hmm. So you're the one who released me. I was expecting... Listen! Bigger? But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. I mean, this fairy's superpower is honestly makeup. Makeup is looking on point. I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. It can enhance your clothing. That's the same thing as the last one. Wait, I thought you I thought you were gonna do something different than the last one. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh. I was kind of imagining, honestly, that and maybe this will still be the case in the game, so please don't tell me one way or the other if I'm correct. 
Uh, just a reminder, this is a very blind playthrough. Um, I was kind of imagining that the first fairy did clothes, and maybe the second one would do shields, or weapons, or bows, or arrows, or... Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff, though. I would love to upgrade my set of strong uh, armor because I love this set. Minus the uh, bandana, which I will eventually probably replace. I love the champion's tunic thing. I love it a lot. We could also... We could also do the stealth outfit. Fair amount. Oh. I thought it was the... Oh. I had forgotten about this. Okay. Oh. I just sold all of my... All of my items like this. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So it takes monster parts, potentially animals. Some items cannot be uh, increased, like the base items in the game, plus this warm doublet. Lizalfo's horn, blue nightshade, Lizalfo's horn, bokoblin horn, bokoblin fang. I kept some, so that's okay. Champion's tunic takes six silent princesses. Uh, let's do the bandana. Ooh. Up to eight. I have lots of questions, and I'm going to try and figure it out all right now. Can I upgrade it more than once? Can I up with one fairy? Can I upgrade it? Oh, you're going to make me blush. Can I upgrade it more than once across fairies? Um, Uh, the bandana is no longer enhanceable. Okay. It says necessary materials, question mark, question mark, question mark, not cannot enhance. <sighs> you please go help my sisters. Doing so will allow me to enhance that piece of clothing. So, we're learning. This one got upgraded by one because I had one fairy unlocked. This one got upgraded by two because I got two fairies unlocked. That is my current hypothesis. Just as a reminder, these are all rhetorical questions. If I don't have a perfect understanding of how the system works, that's okay. I'm really loving having the opportunity to just kind of play around with it. And the opportunity to play around and experiment gets removed if, uh, if you guys give me the answers. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to give ample reminders, ample reminders. I'm not, uh, no one's in trouble. I'm just trying to give ample reminders. Let's increase oh. the champion's tunic. Let's do it. The pricing of other items has not gone up since uh, I did my first one. So it appears that each item has its own has has one price at first. Um, and here's the second question: While you're here, some sets if you enhance all parts of them twice. Give you a. A, an extra boost. This isn't true of everything I enhance, sadly. Any other clothing items you want me to work on? Okay. I mean, the ones that I have is this one. Full set. And I do have enough Lizalfo's horn, uh, horns to do it. The next question on my mind, though, is... Okay, so... These were the same item, right? Hylian trousers. They were the same item before I upgraded this one, the one on the left, once already. Apparently, when I upgraded it, I probably paid five Bacoblin horns to upgrade it. This one... Wait a second. Okay, 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 okay. This one, if I were to upgrade it, I wonder if it would go to two stars or to three. I'm guessing it would go to two stars. 
but maybe she would add two stars on top. Let's see. Let's experiment. Love it. Thanks for the kiss. They're now two stars. Okay. So it seems that yeah, she, you can't you can't stack enhancements from two fairies in a row in order to reach a higher level. In fact, I'm pretty sure what happened is I paid more overall to do that because I think I paid more overall to do that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm kind of wondering if I should actually upgrade these or if I should wait for a third fairy and then upgrade them because they will actually be a little bit cheaper. The thing is, upgrading them right now is not that expensive. It's just three Lizalfos horns, which, oh. frankly, I should just do that. I should just do it. Three Lizalfos horns is easy. I have 16 of them, and I just sold third, uh, 40 of them. However, they will get more expensive in the next one, maybe. I think. That only goes up one star. Can you upgrade that again? Uh, you just did this one. You can. And it takes five Hyrule Bass. Okay. So. I am confused. Oh, wow. I'm very confused. What? The shard of Farash's horn? What is that? That's an item I definitely don't have. Here's the thing that confuses me. I wonder if I had already upgraded my climber's bandana before I came here. I don't know if I did. I thought she took me from zero to two stars on this item. But it seems that on everything else, she just added one star. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for most of the upgrades I can do here. As long as they're relatively cheap, I'm going to do it. And it's an item that I actually wear. Um, okay. I, lo I love this moment. And if this is not for you, no, no worries. Feel free to skip through this part. But I love getting to see, like, like coming in completely brand new to a, a system that's in the game. Uh, and piecing together, uh how it works from experimentation. It's so good. I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, okay, so we've upgraded each of these twice. So now they both should take a second level, which requires three ingredients. Lizalfo's Talent and Hyrule Bass. I have lots of questions. I wonder what the max amount of stars an item is. I wonder what... It seems like the items needed are going to go up in specificity. A shard of Farash's horn sounds very specific. Um... So that's fun. Uh, I wonder what the benefits are that you get if you upgrade oh. the same thing twice. Or uh, uh, all items of a set twice. I wonder if it prov <laughs> provides the same benefit that you already had and just like multiplies it like swim speed or if it takes a different thing and does it. Oh. Um, I don't know. I But I'm having fun trying to picture what it would be. Okay, so I need a lot more Hyrule Bass in order to do all of these. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade one item. And keep skipping. I think I... I'm trying to think if there's any downside to... I think that I'm incorrect in believing... I think I was incorrect in believing that... Upgrading an item once makes the next upgrade, the next fairy you would talk to would make it more expensive to upgrade that item. I think there's just a set cost per upgrade, and any fairy can do, like the first fairy could do one level, the second fairy can do two levels. Um. So if that is the case, if if I was wrong about that, then I should just upgrade everything I can because as long as I don't need the item that I'm using to upgrade, because I can always upgrade it again in the future. And there's no extra cost. 
So get ready for a a fully upgraded kit. Uh, stealth chest. Let's do it. I'm glad I did not sell all of my like horns and and talons and stuff because that would make this a little bit annoying. Um, stealth going up is really big too. Stealth going up in defense is great because my stealth set is so weak compared to my other sets. Oh man, we're gonna be so strong now. Okay, I just gave this woman so much business. <laughs> I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by upgrading all of this stuff right now, but I don't think that I am. I'm pretty sure we did the right amount of testing. I might be wrong. If I'm making a huge mistake, put a frowny face down in the comments below. All right. I don't need to do these pants because I've already got one good set of Hylian pants, Hylian trousers. Uh, the hood just kind of looks cool. And this, I this item looks cool. Oh. Let's do this. We got to find a third fairy. Now I'm super curious. I wonder what happens if we go back to our first fairy, too. Mm. Oh, man. I'm so curious now. If you get clothes and materials or if you restore my sister's powers, then I believe I can help you. Yeah, okay. So even you... Oh. I understand. So even you would do a higher level of improvement for me if... I first help your sisters. Your powers are all uh, interconnected. Sweet, man! I love I love experimenting on shit. Okay. Uh, yo, let's go to uh, Hudson. We must. We must. I need to know what happens there. go down to the road. Oh, there's a beetle there. Energetic rhino beetle. Valuable beetle can live up to 10 years. When cooked into monster parts, its impressive vitality translates into an elixir that greatly restores your stamina. That's good, because I'm always out of stamina, because I'm always running like a crazy person. Oh, hello. You got a, you got a boomerang? Oops, I accidentally chopped the tree down. There we go. Damn it. I badly damaged my freaking... Oh, I badly damaged my sword, which is the best item that I have. And by that, I mean my favorite item that I have. Crap. Let me grab all this stuff, though. I thought there was a horn behind that. Okay. Oh, what are you? First off, that's the moon. Second off. Uh, hello. That's a fire keys if I ever saw one. That's what it's got to be, right? Oh, that's a miss. Did I just light my fire, my, my arrow on fire though? I think I did. Okay, I whiffed. Oh lord, the camera. Hi, friends. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt bad. Also, we should kill those. Okay, all right. Restless cricket, come here. I tried to catch the cricket. Oh, this guy's got a sad little... Sad little demise. Buddy, you're on fire. Oh, no. Not like this. Oh, you're going to roast that pig. Down he goes. Buddy, you're on fire. No. Oh! I just lit my bow on fire. Shit. 
Yo, let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. No! There was definitely a thermal there. Ah! You shit. Ah! You... Why is my focus button not working? I'm cutting all this grass. You little turd. Fire key swing. There isn't enough fire keys attached to it to burn you. It does have a slight warmth to it. Interesting. I'm cutting all of this grass down. Dang it. We almost had a thermal going there. I'm 99% sure. You son of a bitch. I don't even feel bad about that wolf. I'll be honest with you. Don't feel bad about that wolf. All right, I got to test this out. Man, this episode is one one more episode of ADHD Simulator, but... No! Shit. I wanted it to catch fire. Oh my god, what are you? I wanted it to catch fire. What is this? What is that? Uh... Oh no, Hudson, I wanted to... Oh no, I wanted to go to Hudson. All right. We're going to Hudson. <laughs> I got to make an executive decision. Is that a cricket? Yes, it is. Let's go. Two crickets, one episode. Turns out the answer is you just have to fly at them really fast on your paraglider. Dang, I really wanted to set all the grass on fire and try that again. Akala Ancient Tech Lab to the right. Like Akala to the left. We'll test that out eventually. I see another cricket. It ran away. It flew away. Okay. Looking pretty over here, honestly. Are those cairns on top of the... Uh... Oh, that's kind of cool. What are these? These little pieces of... Are they like railroad sla spikes? That's kind of what they look like. Airy town. Huh. Hey, there's a, a goddess uh, uh, statue. Is that exactly what I wanted? Oh, the music is so pl peaceful. Humpha. My man. Ooh. Hey, we meet again. Who are you again? <laughs> it's Hudson. I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. Name's Hudson. <laughs> I remember. Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. However, what's wrong? I build a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough anything. People, money, stuff. Dude, I'll fund you. I love a man with a dream. Passion project? Let me fund you. I'm rich. Why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Supposed to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have homes. What do you need? A bunch of wood? Ten bottles of wood? Fucking easy. If you can build multiple houses with 10 bundles of wood, you are a miracle worker. I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Ooh. Hey, I got you. Are we playing Animal Crossing? Is that what we're doing right here? I'm excited. I brought them. Can I go into debt to you? Mr. Nook? You're a lifesaver. You've told me that twice today. Mm. Next is what? Boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way. Enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. A Goron. Okay. I know one, but he they're in Zora's domain. In accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. Shit. That guy's name was like... Okay, I've met two Gorons. 
One here. Actually, just right here. It was really close. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Boulders are driving me nuts. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. I love that the Bolsons only hire people <laughs> whose last name ends in son. That's so funny. That's such a weird, a lovely detail. Uh, you better believe I'm taking stamina. Give me another stamina wheel. Does that fill me up? I gotta see it. It does. Oh, that's that's good. That's looking real good. Oh, that's looking real good. I wonder if we get another one after that. I feel like that's what has to happen. There's no way we're done leveling up our stamina right now. Huh. We're about to be. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some. Uh. Oh, hello. I'm gonna get some uh, some hearts eventually, but not until we've got four stamina wheels outside of my normal stamina wheel. I'll be honest with you, I'm looking down at this little uh, this little valley or the little the wetlands or whatever it's called, the Torin wetland. I'm seeing a couple things that interest me. I need one more ancient core uh, for that one thing. Uh. Slated for upgrades, I believe. I also need to go speak to Robbie. And I turn over ancient materials. Mif's grace, grace is ready. But I don't know what kind of ancient materials Mif uh, 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 Robbie needs. So I'll get that eventually. But. So I'll, I'll know that eventually. But I'm kind of thinking it wouldn't hurt to go to, uh... Can I grab a sledgehammer? Man, I really like the sledgehammer, but I'm kind of feeling like I don't need it. I'm kind of feeling like it's a waste of, of, of very limited inventory space. I like carrying one, though. It's just fun. Oh my god, look at the sunrise. Over Terry Town, Hudson's Dream. Let's go in the uh, the the backwards way, <laughs> from the top. What's in here, Hudson? I'm gonna take a look. Oh, take a look around at all your stuff. Got anything interesting? A bed? Can I sleep in it? Nope. All right. Cool. Good talk. All right. Well, I just realized uh, we can't fast travel here, can we? We can't. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's try this first. Mm, I don't know what to do here. Let's try this first. Let's go to the stable and see if we can find that person whose name is uh, Inzin's son. There was a Goron over there, a Goron, walking towards the stable. They weren't at the stable. But I don't think it's a crazy idea that that Goron might have been the one that we need. I don't know. It's possible. And also, if they were walking this way, maybe they made it, you know? Maybe they arrived. Um, nope. Got Rex. Wake up, Rex. <gasps> ah, he says. Oh, it's you. Take it you're looking for the fabled sword of legend. Get out of my face. Hmm. Okay. Maybe they're out back, and slash maybe they're not here at all. 
probably that's the case. It's just that they're not here at all. All right. Well, we can always fast travel to Zora's domain and double check that that wasn't the person. It also feels like it would make a lot of sense for the game to be like, hey, you need a Goron, last name son, you haven't met them yet. You start along the path towards the ancient tech lab and you meet them on the way there. Did we loot this? Apparently we did. So... A real quick little jaunt this way. There's somebody all the way on over there on horse. I don't know who it is. Okay. Well. Let's do this. Let's go back to that thing that I was uh I was looking at before I spoke to Hudson. There's a ruins over by Hudson, by Lake Akala, kind of, that I wanted to take a look at. And then I want to get to this ancient tech lab and go meet uh, Kilton, or whatever their name is, uh, at some point, too, but... That's... Sounds like it's coming soon. Okay. We're going vaguely this way. Although I don't think I'll have enough stamina. Wow, from up here, this looks crazy. This wetland area is pretty big. I don't know that I'm going to have enough. I got a lot of stamina, but... It'll be fine, I'm sure. If we don't make it, we can just run. The rest of the way, or drown. Either is fine. I want to go into this wetland, but my, my... Oh, there's a working guardian right there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, buddy. Okay, so I don't want to go into the wetland. Never mind what I was just saying. I repeat, I do not want to go into the wetland. I'm thinking uh, after we go talk to Robbie, likely it would be like, hey, you need... A bunch of ancient tech gear. You know the easiest way to get that? There's a big old wetland near here. With a bunch of, uh... Bunch of old guardians. They loot their corpses. Oh my god, you can see the, uh, the lab, actually. Just barely right there. Let's see what this ruin has to offer, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll start working our way towards that lab. I don't really know which way I want to go to get there, but I'm also curious about this shit. That's for sure. Also, definitely curious about that shit. What's out at the center of? I can't tell. Ooh, buddy. Oh, is that a wolf? That's a wolf. Oh lord. Oh lord. The wolves are annoying. I don't like them. And it's raining. And is that a guardian? Yes. Also, there is a... Okay. So there guard there's a guardian on Tingle Island. Interesting. There's also a Korok thing right there. Yeah, you guys run off. That's right. Get scared. Um... I got some loot here. I got a restless cricket there. That's right. Is that three in one episode? I'm amazing. I'm getting very lucky. Okay, is this going to be some parkour? Oh, God, that's fast. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's fast. 
What? How am I supposed to do that? What? I think it is parkour. Okay. Nope. Okay, we're going to want to restart. Okay. Oh, no. No! I was decent there. Um, definitely some things we can do better. The restless cricket right there that I wanted to catch. Okay. Hmm. Running, holding the... Oh, shit. Nope, that's the wrong button. Running and jumping at the same time is kind of tough for me. I guess I'm going to have to figure it out, though. Okay. Well, we're just going to restart that one. And now it's raining, which is not helpful. Okay. I feel like jumping the first one is not the play. Yeah, rain is not helping here. I think you do like a slow jump on the first one. Like like not sp not not sprint just run. Like that? No, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I wonder if I could just run to the back. Let's just run. Let's just ignore it. Ignore the path that I'm, I'm trying to take right now and just run for the, the pillar. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be bested by this Korok. No! The stamina. I just didn't have enough stamina. Interesting. I think that could work, though. If instead of jumping at first. Oh! That's so close. I apologize in advance, for, uh, uh, in retrospect, for the sound that I just made. <laughs> that was really close, though. You got to give it to me. Okay. One more time. I just used extra stamina, which I probably shouldn't have done. Hey, I missed the jump! Crap. Can you just run up this? Yeah, but it's not very good. Okay. Might save you some stamina, though. Alright, we're going to give it a couple more tries. No, oh, not like this. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get this. I don't think I'm going to get it. I wonder if there's anything else I can do. Stasis, a bomb. <laughs> Cryonis, I don't think so. One more try, right? This, uh, two more tries, right? Oh, Lord. Okay, we're back to this way. Because I think... No! I think I can do that if I just uh, play it correctly. I think jump the first one, jump the second one. No, run and jump the set, the third one. That was close too. Without mistakes, that's definitely doable. BRB, this episode's gonna be four hours long. Well, when you mess up the first jump, it's probably worth just quitting. <laughs> right? This Hyrule Herb in the background has been driving me nuts. 
Listen, I can't let the Koroks down. I gotta do this. Okay, good jumps. Ah, jump! No, no. I panicked. I also don't know how to do this in terms of like where I put my fingers. Like I'm using my thumb to move the camera. Maybe I just shouldn't move the camera. One more time. He says repeatedly. Oh crap. Two more times. Maybe I don't. Oh, you can reset it? Well, that's interesting. That ain't it. You can reset it. Cool. I didn't notice that. Okay, if we ignore the camera and we just jump, jump. Oh, sprint jump. Jump. Oh. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of persistence here. Nope. Like looks like a crazy person right now. Jump. Jump. No. Oh! a little bit better. I kind of feel like going back to the just running around version. Running I feel more confident at. Oh, Link, we got to talk about your jumping skills there, bud. I feel like you stood there for two seconds. All right, this is the one, and then we're ending the episode right here. There it is. Let's go. Yeah, ha, ha. That's the hardest Korok we've worked on ever. Woo! We did it. Just barely. All for a little bit of Korok shit in my pocket. Love it. Love to see it. That is a very pretty flower. That's not a flower. That's a Korok. <laughs> Look, that's a very pretty flower. That's not a flower. Well, crap, now we gotta go one more. Before we call it an episode. This is literally leading me down this, this little peninsula thing, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. I have no complaints. Very excited to come down this peninsula. Unless it's a trap, in which case I'm pissed. I love gliding downhill. Is there another one? Oh my god, there's more. Plus wolves. Okay. If this thing goes all the way around the peninsula, I'm going to lose my... Oh, of course it doesn't. because It ends right here. Also, what is this? Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like or a positive comment if you would. You don't have to. It's just, it's a nice thing. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. You know that by now. Also, major shout out to Hera S. Thanks so much for the support over on Patreon. Thanks for supporting our Breath of the Wild playthrough. I appreciate you very much. This episode goes out to you. Much love. Y'all, thanks for hanging out with me while I chased Koroks around like a crazy person and glided and jumped and made inappropriate noises and got way too much, way too excited about fairy shit. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Be nice to yourself. See ya. Wait, crap. <clears throat> bye bye.